everyone, and welcome to the next edition of the Holland Land Office Museum's Artifact Video Series. My name is Ryan Duffy, and I'm the director of the museum. And this week, in honor of uh, Women's Month, we're going to talk about a very prominent woman in Batavia's history, and maybe its most famous musician, and that is the pianist Monica Daly. Uh, now, Monica Daly was born in Batavia in 1881, and her parents ran the Daly uh, Furniture Store and Mortuary, uh, out of their home on East Main Street. Now Monica's father died when she was about two years old and her mother had to run the business until her death in 1916, but the family uh, ran the business until uh, the mid-1940s actually. Now Monica's love for music would be uh, revealed when she started attending St. Joseph's Academy where she began her first piano lessons. Now her teacher was a woman named Mary Howard who was probably the most well-known local piano teacher and she actually moved on to better things and brought Monica with her. Monica began taking piano lessons from Mary Howard in 1892, and soon after, Mary Howard was hired by the Buffalo School of Music to be their piano teacher, and she brought Monica and a few other pupils with her to learn uh, from her in Buffalo. Upon moving to Buffalo, Monica attended Holy Angels Academy along with her sister Kitty, who would be her lifelong companion through uh, her journey in music. Uh, now, Monica would graduate from the Buffalo Music School in 1896 at the age of 16. And a few weeks later, she would actually sail to Europe and uh, go to Vienna with another student that she knew there named Mary Showerman. And uh, she traveled to Vienna to learn from one of the best piano teachers on the whole European continent by the name of Theodor Lyshetsky. She would study under Lyshetsky in Vienna for seven years and would actually stay with her sister Kitty, who would be her roommate, uh, partner, and sort of motherly figure to watch over Monica and make sure she ate uh, what she should and got plenty of rest during her study. And we actually have a lot of her letters uh, going back and forth from Vienna to Batavia uh, here at the museum. Now eventually uh, Monica would make her way back to the States and would begin her touring career uh, where she plays some very prestigious halls uh, throughout the eastern part of the United States. However, she would still tour in Europe from time to time, and in 1907 she actually played at uh, Queen's Hall in London, and we assume that she probably played in other major European cities, but we just don't have uh, the confirmation of that. When touring the state, she actually played twice at Carnegie Hall in New York City, uh, as well as many other venues across Massachusetts, Virginia, Ohio, and other places in New York City. Uh, when she was signed to a uh, touring company, Hansel and Jones. She not only played abroad, but she also played here at home in Batavia and played many times at the Dellinger Theater, uh, as well as at the Blind School and many other small venues for private parties and friends. Uh, but she would also play in Buffalo a lot, um, often for the 20th Century Club, uh, though the time away from home uh, made it very difficult on her to manage her career uh, as well as her home life. Uh, so in 1913, she actually decided that she would no longer uh, be touring and became more of a homebody. When back in Batavia, she would live at the family home at 305 East Main Street, where she would live with uh, her sisters until they passed away. Uh, and then she would eventually live by herself, though she had some paid help and visitors occasionally. Uh, but throughout the entire time, she would still play her piano and many people walking by down on East Main Street by the Daily Home could often hear Mozart or Chopin or many other famous piano pieces uh, playing from the daily home and uh, so music still was a major part of her life. However, Monica became uh, very uh, much a recluse and, and avoided people to an extent as she never took on any pupils and never really pursued any way of passing on her knowledge to uh, a new generation, uh, which is somewhat sad due to the amount of talent she had and the amount of knowledge of the, of the instrument that she had that it'd be nice if she would have been able to pass on some of that to uh, a new generation of, of uh, piano stars. Monica lived in, in the family home until her death in June 1964. Uh, upon her death she left the stables and uh, the property to the St. Joseph's Parish. Uh, she wanted to keep everything away from the daughter of her brother Joseph who uh, she was not a fan of and didn't uh, approve of her marriage. After her death, when people went in to go through the furnishings and, and put things up for sale, uh, they remarked that the house seemed to be frozen in time as everything seemed to be as it was in 1881. Uh, she hadn't really touched anything. All the furnishings and decorations were of the uh, 1880s, uh, more than 80 years old at that point. Uh, and it really was a remarkable scene for many. 
Uh, now, sadly, that home has since been torn down, so we don't have it to enjoy anymore, but we do have a few things uh, from Monica's past here at the museum that I'd like to show you. Uh, some of the things behind me are a couple posters and programs from her playing days uh, where she was traveling across Europe and the United States. But probably the most interesting thing is our, we have a lot of her letters that she wrote from uh, her time over in Vienna in Europe back home uh, and some correspondences with some possible love interests. So uh, I will show you a few of those just to give you an idea. So here we have some of the letters that uh, Monica Daly wrote. Uh, the first one here is from London in 1906 uh, while on a tour there. And it's actually written uh, to her. Um, as uh, we have a lot of exchanges between her and her sisters, uh, both uh, in Europe and in Batavia. And we also have a lot of uh, letters from companies asking about uh, possible uh, concerts and, and uh, shows across uh, Europe and in the United States. It's a, a very interesting time capsule into her life and her, her career as a uh, famous musician. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this edition of our Artifact video series uh, and you learned a little bit more about um, Batavia's own Monica Daly, uh, the most famous pianist from our area, and uh, her success across Europe and, and also at home. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to check out the rest of them on our YouTube channel, Holland Land Office Museum. Uh, and in case you missed any, you can go back and check them out.